So today we're going to be talking about how you could be holding your GPU back, especially if it's one of the newer, more powerful GPUs in terms of the position in your case, in terms of the general airflow. As an example, I did a build in a nice big case, the new Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 901. This is going to be the update to the previous 900, which I absolutely love the design. But you'll see one of the biggest differences in this new iteration of the case is going to be in the airflow. You can put a mesh panel on the front. The top has mesh. It has really amazing amount of space. So let's talk about the first thing. If you're using like a 4090, 4080, 4070 Ti, anything like that, even the new AMD GPUs, anything that gets like well over 250 watts, space inside your case is actually pretty important. Anybody that's built a mini ITX uh, system, you're going to know that if you have the panel open, you're usually going to get much better temperatures on your GPU. If it's closed, because of the small space, the air is going to sort of not really have anywhere to go. It's going to circulate inside, and then you're going to have maybe a lot of degrees hotter than you typically would. So if you have a bigger enclosure, automatically that's going to help with the airflow. Doesn't mean that you have to have a big case in order to have better airflow. You just have to keep in mind that the space around the fans of the GPU, the clearance that you have, have, and whatever panel is there is potentially going to make a big difference to your temperatures. So dealing with a big case like here, as you can see, you have a massive amount of space pretty much everywhere. So that's not going to be a concern. And you can actually see how the temperatures are considerably better. Now, a small case, what I would recommend sometimes if you can have a fan pointed at the GPU, that can help with the airflow. And then you may just have to choose a smaller GPU depending on the case that you want to build in. So this is also going to be true if you happen to do a build with a vertical GPU setup. If you have it too close to the glass, it's not going to be enough space for the GPU to get proper airflow. That's why most of the time, even though it looks cooler to have it vertically mounted, I prefer to have the GPU horizontally mounted like normal, boring, but generally you're going to have much better airflow. That's where we get to the second point on now to strangle your GPU in terms of its capacity. For example, in this new Be Quiet 901, Airflow is really the name of the game here. Instead of being just, you know, closed off panels like it used to be in the past in order to have maybe higher temperatures, but also less noise, I think the best balance is to have better performance fans, everything open, mesh panels, and that way you can run the fans at a very low RPM and basically you don't even really hear the system. Even though it doesn't have sound dampening foam like they used to have in the past, it doesn't have these closed off panels, you get to have pretty much the best of both worlds. Lots of airflow and more quiet operation because everything's running cooler because that air is flowing through. The first area of importance here obviously is the front panel. That's going to be where a lot of air can come in and here I built like a, a traditional setup where there's 240 millimeter, the, the silent wings fans on the front. They're gradually pulling in air and then of course on top is where I have the AIO, so heat rises, all the hot air is going to go up. Sure, you may be putting some of that GPU you know, uh, heat into your CPU, but in general, when you're gaming, that's not really going to make that big of a difference, and I prefer to at least have the you know, your GPU have that nice, fresh, cool air. Same idea in the back, you're going to have that exhaust fan, so intake on the front, exhaust on the top, and exhaust right behind on the, on the fan behind the case. That's going to be a pretty typical setup depending on the size of your case many can support these type of fans you may be able to only do a 240 millimeter AIO or something like that if your case is smaller but at least here you can do that setup and I found that the temperatures stay extremely cool even with a 4090 4080 something like this you're easily staying around that like 60 degrees Celsius with a founders edition or with like the Strix model and the, even the CPU when you're gaming and even this being a 13900 KS, one of the hottest running CPUs that you can get. Temperatures stay, you know, pretty reasonable, 60s to 70s when you're playing. Obviously, when it does something like compile shaders or when it really stresses the, the CPU, like if you're going to be doing Cinebench, then yeah, it's going to run up much higher to the 90 or 100C. It's going to run up basically to its max, but it's kind of designed to do that 
But in regular gaming, typically it stays much cooler because the CPU is not going to be stressed nearly as much. Even if you're doing like 1440p with a 4090 and the 13900KS, temperatures are generally reasonable. And of course, 13900KS, like I said, gets pretty hot. If you have like a 7800X3D, for example, uses a lot less power and therefore a lot less heat, making everything a lot easier to cool down. So when you're combining the latest hardware with a case choice, mesh panels like this absolutely amazing and then when a case like this is very technically sound where performance is going to be great then yep you have all these other awesome elements like really easy to build in i love having a little phone charger right on top of the case a little chi charger so you don't even have to charge your phone with a cable you just put it right up there obviously it's more of like a nice little nice to have and of course you can have you know legacy drives like a cd or dvd burner or regular hard drives in a case like this many modern cases no longer have that but this is obviously for somebody who still wants to use just basically everything that they have the first version of the 900 that i had them to build in i did like a full custom open loop everything was water cooled this one i basically just went air cooling and then with an aio so the gpu air cooled because i wanted to see how the performance was going to be in this updated model and it's pretty incredible i mean i'm getting around 60 c in most games that I'm playing so that's not really stressing the GPU at all before with a water-cooled setup like with a 3090 it's not too far off of what it was maybe that would be in the 50s sometimes you can get down in the 40s but this is actually more than enough performance to make sure that your GPU and the CPU really stay performing at their peak and they don't thermal throttle that's the point of having a high airflow case and a big case like this you obviously are going to be able to have much more headroom and you don't want to get anywhere near the point of thermal throttling even if the cpu does run warmer over time in a smaller enclosure that may start to get a little bit too close in certain games where it really stresses one or the other more and you may have less performance because of it or maybe other drops or something like that because maybe the cpu or gpu over let's say a long gaming session are going to be getting hotter than you would really want but with a case like this that's big fans on the front, on the top, mesh panels. It's always gonna maintain a really stable, cool environment. At the end of the day, that's just much better performance and it's gonna be a lot quieter than other systems that have maybe a more compact design or a more closed off type of design. So overall, those are the things you should know, at least in terms of like the basic physics big case or more space between your GPU and whatever panel is there, then just having the proper airflow are gonna be really, really good elements to keep in mind when you're doing a build with a lot of the new hot running hardware. All right guys, so remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.